What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie tonight, a day coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. E3 is about officially over. All of the big announcements have been made. Last night, Sony had their chance to go, and they fired every cannon there was. Some really exciting stuff, and it's got the internet on fire. But don't worry, I think there's good news for Xbox fans as well as PlayStation fans. We're going to talk about Sony's announcements last night and what it means for gaming overall. If, even if you disagree with some of my parts of my opinion i hope you make it all the way to the end of the video there's good news for xbox owners at the end of it i promise so stick it out so last night sony had their opportunity to fire the next salvo in their uh war on the xbox one and it was a direct hit many people feeling absolutely devastating the xbox one uh most notable uh, in the Sony conference was the fact that there are no restrictions, and we're going to have to talk about that, but there are no restrictions on how you use your used games or trade games or sell games or giveaway games. Uh, that there's no force online connectivity for the console. You can do whatever you want. Basically, it's the exact same feature set of the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 and the exact same feature set of every console ever created. In fact, it's a real shame that Microsoft has pushed DR to the point that not having DR, DRM that's never existed before is now a sellable feature. Not just a sellable feature, but one that can win you the console war. And of course, there were games by the dozens. In fact, it looks like the PlayStation has already announced over 50 games for the PlayStation 4, and they, that number continues to grow as they pull in more independent artists that are allowed to self-publish on the system. So it's the indie game platform, it's the no DRM platform, it's this platform that has a ridiculous number of games, it has very few gimmicks, it has no online, it is exactly what we all wanted from the next generation consoles. It was exactly what we wanted the Xbox One to be. It's not all good news as far as the PlayStation is concerned. Um, there is still the option for publishers to create DRM exactly the same way there was on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3. Any game has the option of requiring you to connect to the internet. Any game has the option of using online passes or things along that lines exactly the way it's worked for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Except I think right now, if you're publishing for the PlayStation 4, after seeing the backlash the Xbox One got, you would be a fool to try to publish a game that has some sort of DRM in it, and I think 90% of the games that come out for the X, or for the PlayStation are not going to use such a service. And in fact, if they were to be so stupid, I think it's going to be one of the worst selling titles on the system, no matter how good the game is. You know, and I know, that EA will push it to the limit. That's going to happen, and it, we are going to have to decide whether or not we're going to allow them to do it. PlayStation 4 gives you the option of not buying DRM infused games. The Xbox One gives you no such option because every disc you put into the system automatically has to conform to their restrictive policies. On that fact, even though I don't like the way PlayStation is handling it, I wish that it was a full out no possible DRM on their system. I also like the fact that they're giving the publishers the option and that gives you the option. So Xbox One gives you no options. Simple choice. And, of course, the announcement that PlayStation Plus is necessary in order to have online multiplayer gameplay is frustrating to me. That's something I'm very against. Though I really, really like the PlayStation Plus service, and I already have it for all the free games that they give you, I'm frustrated that it's required. I don't like them putting anything behind a paywall. And they've already confirmed on Twitter today that they're not putting any of their other services like Netflix, like Flickster, like Redbox, like Amazon Prime behind that paywall. The only thing that will be behind that paywall currently is multiplayer games. I still Still wish that wasn't there but it's so much better than the Xbox Live service I can't help but want to pay for it and if they're going to continue to give me three five fifteen new games a month this month they gave me 15 new free games I'm gonna take it but you're saying to yourself boogie I just don't want a PlayStation 4 I've already put down an order for my Xbox one and I really really want to have it Good news for you. There's a really solid chance 
that Xbox is now going to realize that they cannot go forward with these policies and that they're going to change them. Do I think that'll happen by launch? No, I don't. I think they're going to try to sell as many consoles with these restrictions and not backpedal until they absolutely have to. And that's where you, my Xbox fan and friend, that's where you come in. I know that you're passionate about the Xbox. I know that you're passionate about the experience you had with the 360. You're a huge fan and you want to stick with your gaming choice for the next generation. And I get it. I understand it. I even support it. I applaud you for being passionate about something you love. But I have a favor to ask of you. Just wait. It's entirely possible that Xbox is going to realize that they cannot sell as many of their products as they would like if these policies are in place. And if you are the person that waits to buy until those policies change, you are doing yourself a wonderful service. You are making gaming better for yourself and for everyone else. There are a lot of wonderful gaming options for you right now. You currently probably have a 360. Continue to buy games for it. It's not going anywhere. They are announcing another 100 plus games for your system. You never bought a PlayStation 3? There's an extensive library for you to enjoy. The Wii U just announced 12 new games today. The Nintendo 3DS just announced a bunch as well. You have the opportunity to game like you've never gamed before without buying the Xbox One in its current obtrusive, restrictive state. Do yourself a favor, do us a favor, and just wait. I truly believe that as big a mistake as Xbox has made here, it's only a mistake, one that can be rectified. And if you vote with your dollar, if you vote simply with time, if you let them know that you don't want to purchase a system with these restrictions and you would rather wait until they fix them, they will fold. They do not want to lose that market share. They do not want to lose that profit and they will do what makes them the most money. Make sure that you let them know what will make them the most money is changing this shit. In the meantime, you Xbox players are welcome to join the rest of us in buying a PlayStation 4, enjoying a stack of exclusive games taller than the Xbox console. You can enjoy all those independent games that you can download from the PlayStation Store, enjoy their in amazing service, enjoy your instant free game collection just for signing up for PlayStation Plus, and uh, enjoy the uh, what is apparently going to be the PlayStation Master Race.